Dunellen is a small town, so the art gallery, it still conveys that small town, very comfortable, cozy kind of feeling. We essentially, from the very beginning, have wanted to support local artists to bring art education into the community and to support our community. There aren't very many galleries available to artists like us. Don Ellen, here in this gallery, is the only one that I know of in the area. It's given me a place to have my art displayed all the time, because prior to uh, being here at the co-op, um, it was only through art shows. Here, I can just go play with my glass, I can make something, and I can bring it and put it on the shelves, and it's wonderful that way. We have over 35 artists, we have a basket maker, we have four different glass makers, and of course your normal three, two and three D. Uh, artists. I can go in my studio and work for hours and have no idea what time it is. There's joy that comes from it. I think it's probably the best therapy you can get for yourself without having to do anything but buy a box of paints and a canvas. <laughs> I heard another artist say, well I'm not doing this to, you know, to be a millionaire. You're just born with something that just, yeah, I have to get it out and you have to do it. We have classes in basketry, photography, stained glass, when we offer our classes to the public, you don't have to have any experience. We really welcome people that have no experience and just want to learn about the art. The first lady who taught me anything said that anyone can paint, all they have to do is try and be devoted to it. When we get a new artist, and we have over 35 artists now, uh, we assign them a space. It is up to them to arrange their work. I mean, it's a very nice place and really I felt like a very big privilege to be able to have my art here. This is a really good example of a bunch of different ways people express their art. We all operate well in here. Uh, we interact, we have, you know, meetings, uh, we all email each other. Really, really cohesive operation. Being here has been really great because I've been with other galleries before. And this is different with it being nonprofit that you actually get to be a part of it, not somebody just running it. Every artist has a role to play in our gallery, from the retail side uh, to the administrative side and to also our community service. You get to be involved, you volunteer, you're on the schedule, you're helping other artists and you're meeting other people. For instance, our annual art festival, every artist has some role to play, whether it's weeks or months before or the actual day of the event. This is a big deal for our art gallery. Our um, first and second festivals that were in the parking lot are now on the grounds and on the streets around our building. It's our biggest event of the year. Uh, it benefits not only the gallery, it benefits the community, our, the merchants and the county. We bring in a lot of tourists, a lot of locals and around the state artists come in here. We started something from scratch. We became braver and did more. And now I think we've got an entity here that will survive beyond me, and that's really awesome. Through the community, we will offer certain little events that will help out certain businesses and organizations. There is a local Dunellen Boys and Girls Club that we took an art program to, and that's what the tile quilt outside our building is the result of. Uh, one of our photographers would travel to Patagonia and the Bahamas and the Gal uh, Galapagos Islands and stuff, and he would do these talks, which became a fundraiser, of course, for our art scholarship. We're really proud that we've been able to offer several scholarships to local art students, and they're delightful people who are doing some amazing work. We are probably the only gallery in the area that offers an art scholarship to a graduating senior to pursue their career in art. There's an application and they apply online and they also have to write an essay and show some of their works and they also have to be accepted into college in an art program. We want to encourage them and we want them to get as much training as they can and have a place to show their art if they st plan to stay in the community. They really want to do this. They want to be involved and they want to help the other artists. And you don't see that a lot when it's just a gallery that, you know, just takes your commission and that's it. You can find Rainbow Springs Art in Dunellen on Facebook. And our own website is rainbowspringsart.com. We do have a web store also, so if there's something that interests you, you can either come in and purchase it or inquire about it on the website. The idea is make the community vibrant 
and I think we've contributed to that. When you come in here and you start talking to the other artists and looking at what they've done, you start getting those creative juices flowing again and you know, we inspire each other. It's great just to have other artists around of like-minded people. The fact that they're enthusiastic about what their art is, it's, it's, it does make you more enthusiastic about your art. This is a wonderful sense of community and to get feedback from other artists is just really fun. When you join here, you're actually, they take you in and they care about what you're doing. It's more of a family and that's really important, I think. I know my art will last. It's pottery and it is, doesn't disintegrate very quickly, but it's also to know this organization that supports local artists, art education, and our community may also have a long life ahead of it. <laughs>